gives me immense pleasure on behalf of SCI Suva to welcome all of you for this Yoga Day celebrations. Uh, we are likely to be joined by Honorable Minister for Fisheries, Semi Koroi Lavesau. Let me also welcome High Commissioners of Diplomatic Missions, members of the Diplomatic Corps, senior officials of Fiji, Fijian government, heads of public sector undertakings of Government of India in Fiji, members of diaspora organization, India-Fiji Friendship Forum representatives, industry and business leaders, esteemed media representatives, teachers and students of participating schools, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start with conveying greetings from High Commissioner of, High Commissioner of India to Suva, His Excellency P.S. Karthigin, who could not be present with us because he's not well. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate 8th International Day of Yoga 2022. Today, yoga is practiced in various forms around the world and continues to grow in popularity. Recognizing its universal appeal, on 11th December 2014, the United Nations proclaimed 21st June as the International Day of Yoga. In its resolution, the UNJ endorsed that yoga provides a holistic approach to health and well-being, apart from striking a balance between all aspects of life. The draft resolution establishing the International Day of Yoga was proposed by India and endorsed by a record 175 member states. The International Day of Yoga aims to raise awareness worldwide of many benefits of practicing yoga. The first celebrations were held on 21st June 2015. An invaluable gift of ancient Indian tradition, yoga has emerged as one of the most trusted means to boost physical and mental well-being. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit root yuj, meaning to join, to yoke, or to unite, symbolizing the unity of mind and body, thought and action, restraint and fulfillment, harmony between human and nature. Yoga Day celebrations are aimed at reaching out to the world at large about the benefits of practicing yoga and create an awareness among one and all about the holistic approach to health in which attention is given more to prevention rather than cure. This year, the theme of International Day of Yoga is Yoga for Humanity. This year, a new element has been added to the celebrations, which is the formation of Guardian Ring, or Global Yoga Ring, where yoga celebrations happening across the world will be streamed live on Indian media, that is Dudarshan, from 3 a.m. in India. That is, right now, it is 9.30 in India, it is 3 a.m. The live streaming has started, and then move westward to show visuals from other countries, and the live streaming will last at 12 p.m. India time today. Naturally, Fiji is going to be the first country to be captured in the Gajuin Ring, which underlines one sun, one earth concept and showcases the unification, unification power of yoga. Millions of people are likely to join these yoga celebrations at iconic places across the world and across India as part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotso. Let me mention that Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotso is an initiative of the government of India to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of independence and the glorious history of its people, culture, and achievements. In commemorating the International Day of Yoga today, we, not, we recognize the benefits of practicing yoga for giving us not only the physical strength, but also mental balance and emotional stability to confidently negotiate the challenges before us. Let us try to make yoga a part of our lives. With this, I wish you all a very happy yoga day again. Thank you. Dhanyavad.
Before I conclude, I'm partly going to function as your MC also today. Now we have on this stage Sally Bailey. She is going to narrate the yoga protocol. For the next 40 minutes, we are going to do a yoga protocol. You can follow Sally Bailey. She will be giving, narrating the yoga, giving the instructions. At the same time, we have three demonstrators. Sangeeta Kumar, please raise your hand. She is our local yoga teacher at, the, at our cultural center. Meghnath, who has recently joined from India. He is a teacher of Indian culture at the High Commission. And Annie Yuen, she is a student of yoga at our cultural, Swami Nand Vivekanand Cultural Center. So now I hand over the mic to Sally Bailey to start the yoga protocol. Thank you, thank you once again. Is everybody hearing me okay? At the back? Raise your hands at the back if you can hear. Okay, I can see some can hear. Okay, I'm checking again. That sounds better. Okay. So sitting in Sukhasan, back erect, hands in Gyan Mudra, close the eyes or lower the gaze. We're breathing deeply through the nose and exhale for three rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And now we'll come into an easy standing posture, Samastiti. We'll start the yoga protocol with the loosening practices. Neck bending. We'll do four variations of neck bending. Stage one, forward and backward bending. Stand with the feet two to three inches apart. Place your hands on the waist. While exhaling, move the head slowly forward and try to touch the chin, the chin to the chest. While inhaling, move the head up and bend back comfortably. And while exhaling, bring the head back to center. And we'll move on to stage two, side bending. While exhaling, bend the head slowly to the right, bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder without raising the shoulder. And while inhaling, bring the head to the central position. And then while exhaling, bend the head to the, to the left side. Inhale, bring the head back to the center position. Stage three, twisting. Keep the head upright. While exhaling, gently turn the head to the right so that the chin is in line with the shoulder. While inhaling, bring the head to the center. And while exhaling, turn the head to the left. Inhale, and bring the head back to the center. 
rotation. We'll do one round clockwise and then we'll do one round anti-clockwise. So while exhaling, bend the head forward to touch the chin to the chest. And while inhaling, slowly rotate the head in a circular motion to the right and exhale while coming down to the left. Now repeat in the opposite direction. And now inhale and bring the head back to the central position. Lower the arms and stand in Samastiti. We'll now move on to the shoulders movement and we'll do two types of shoulder movement. Stage one, shoulder stretch. Keep the feet together, the body straight and the arms by the side. While inhaling, raise both the arms sideways above the head with the palms facing outwards. Exhaling, bring the arms down to the side. Stage two, shoulder rotation. We will do three rounds clockwise and three rounds anti-clockwise. Place the fingers of the left hand on the left shoulder and the fingers of the right hand on the right shoulder. Full rotation of both el elbows in a clockwise circular manner. One, two, three, and now we repeat in the opposite direction. Three, two, one. Release the arms to the side and stand in Samasiti. The trunk movement, waist twisting. Keep the legs about two to three feet apart. Raise both the arms up to shoulder level with palms facing each other and keep them parallel. While exhaling, twist the body towards the left side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder and come back with inhalation. And while exhaling, twist the body towards the right side so the left palm touches the right shoulder. And come back with inhalation. Release the arms to the side and bring the feet back together. Relaxing Samastiti. Knee movement or chair sitting position. Place the feet hip width apart. While inhaling, lift your arms up to shoulder level, palms facing downwards. While exhaling, bend the knees and bring down the body to a semi squatting position. In the final position, both the arms and thighs should be parallel to the ground. While inhaling, straighten the body. And while exhaling, bring down the hands and bring the feet together. Relax in Samastiti. This concludes the loosening exercise and we'll now move into the yoga asana. So we'll start with the standing postures. And we'll start with Tad Asan, the palm tree posture. Standing with feet two inches apart. Interlock the fingers and turn the wrist outwards. Now inhale, raise the arms up above the head, raise the heels off the floor and balance on the toes. Stay in the position with normal breathing. Bring the heels down, exhale, release the interlock of the fingers and bring the arms down and come back to easy standing posture. The benefits of this asana, it brings stability in the body, helps to clear up congestion of the spinal nerves and corrects faulty posture. Rich asana, the tree posture. Stand with the feet two inches apart and focus on a point in front. Exhale, hold and bend the right leg and then place the foot on the inner side of the left thigh. 
Inhale, extend the arms and join the palms together for Namaskar Mudra. Stay in the position breathing normally. Exhale, bring the arms down. Release the right leg and bring it to the ground. And now repeat the asan to the left side. The benefits of this posture, it helps to improve neuromuscular coordination, balance, endurance, alertness, and concentration. <clears throat> Exhale, bring the arms down, release the left leg, and stand in Samastiti. And now we're moving to Hard Hast Asan, the hands to feet posture. Inhale slowly and raise the arms up. Stretch the body from the waist. Exhale, bend forward until both palms rest on the ground. Stretch the back as straight as possible and maintain the posture with normal breathing. Now inhale, come up slowly to the upright position and stretch the arms straight above the head. Exhale slowly and return to the starting position. Relax in Samastiti. The benefits of this posture, it makes the spine flexible, improves digestion and helps in overcoming menstrual problems. We're now prepare for Adra Chakra San, the half wheel posture. Support the back at the sides of the waist with the fingers. Try to keep the elbows parallel. Lower the head backwards, stretching the neck muscles. Inhale, bend backwards from the lumbar region and exhale and relax in this position. Inhale and slowly come up and relax in Samastiti. The benefits of this asan, it makes the spine flexible and strengthens the spinal nerves and muscles. Three Korn Asan, the triangle posture. Turn to the right, stand with the feet three feet apart. Inhale, slowly raise both the arms sideways up to shoulder level and turn the right foot towards the right side. Exhale, slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand fingers just behind the right foot, the left arm straight in line with the right arm and turn the left palm forward and your head to gaze the tip of the left middle finger. Remain in the posture with normal breathing. Inhale, slowly and come up. Bring the right foot back and repeat the same procedure to the left side and start by turning the left foot to the left side. The benefits of this posture, it makes the spine flexible, strengthens calf, thigh and waist muscles and improves lung capacity. Inhale, slowly come up, turn the left foot back, lower the arms, bring the legs together and turning to the left, stand at the back of your mat and relax in Samastiti. This completes the standing postures. We will now commence the sitting postures, coming to sit on the mat in Sukhasan. So we will start by coming into Dandasan, the staff pose. So sit straight with legs stretched out, straight in front. Keep the hands beside the hips and palms resting on the floor. This is Dandasan, staff pose. We're now moving to Bandra Asan. Put the soles of your feet together. Exhale and clasp your hands together over your toes. 
Inhale, pull your heels as close as possible to the perineum region and stay in this position with normal breathing. Release and extend the legs together, hands by the side of the body and palms resting on the ground, fingers pointing forward, back into Dand Asan, the staff posture. The benefits of this posture helps to keep the body firm and stabilizes the mind. We are now moving to Vatra Asan, the thunderbolt posture. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. And fold the left leg, place the left foot under the left buttock. Place both the heels so that the big toes touch each other. Position the buttocks in the space between the heels. Keep both hands on respective knees. Keep the spine erect and gaze in front or close the eyes. The benefits of this asan, it's good for digestion, strengthens the thigh muscles and the calf muscles. We'll return to this posture after each of the next four seated postures. But we'll start with Adra Ust Asan, the half camel posture. Stand on the knees. Place the hands on the hips with fingers pointing downwards. Keep the elbows and shoulders parallel. Bend the head back and stretch the neck muscles. Inhale, bend the tra- trunk backwards as much as possible. Now exhale and relax. Keep the thighs perpendicular to the ground and return with inhalation to thunderbolt posture. The benefit of this posture, it helps to strengthen the back and neck muscles. We're now moving to Ustra Asan, the camel posture. Bring the knees and feet a few inches apart and stand up on your knees. While inhaling, bend backward, place the right palm on the right heel and the left palm on the left heel and ex- exhale. In the final position, thighs will be vertical to the floor and head tilted back. Return with inhalation and sit in Vadrasan Asan. Vajra. This is useful in relieving back and neck pain and useful for defective eyesight. We now move into Shasheng Asan, the hair posture. Spread both the knees wide apart, keep the big toes touching. Keep the palms between the knees. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, bend forward, arms outstretched, and place the chin on the ground. Keep the arms parallel. Look in front and maintain the posture. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms down and come back to thunderbolt posture. The benefits of this posture, it helps to reduce stress and anxiety. We're now moving to Uttan Manduk Asan, the stretched up frog posture. Spread both the knees wide apart while keeping big toes touching each other. Raise your right arm and fold at the elbow and place the palm on the left shoulder blade and now fold the left arm and place the palm on the right shoulder blade. Maintain the position, breathing normally and then come back slowly in reverse to thunderbolt pose. We'll now return to Dand Asan we will take out the left leg and extend in front and extend the right leg and return to the original position and relax in Dand Asan. The benefits of the stretched up forward posture, this asana improves the diaphragmatic movements and lung capacity. 
We'll now prepare for Vakra Asan, the spinal twist posture. Inhale, bend the right leg and pace the right foot over the right knee. Bring the left arm around the right knee. Take the right arm back and keep the palm on the ground with back straight. Exhale, twist the body to the right. Remain in position with normal breathing and relax. Inhale, bring the body back to the center. Take your hands to the side and return the right leg to the ground. And now repeat to the opposite side. The benefits of this posture, it helps to increase the flexibility of the spine. Inhale, come back to center. Release the arm to the floor and return the left leg to the side and sit in Dandasan. This, in, this concludes the seated postures and we'll now perform the prone postures. And we'll start with Makra Asan, the crocodile posture. So coming into prone position, lie down on the stomach with feet wide apart and toes pointing outward. Bend both the arms and place the right palm on the left hand and place the head on the right side on your hands. Keep the eyes closed and relax the whole body. This is Makra Asan, the crocodile posture. This asan is practiced for relaxation in all prone postures. It promotes relaxation of the whole body. And we'll come back to relax in this posture in between the following postures. So we'll start with Bhujan Asan and we'll do two stages. First with the elbows and forearm touching the floor and the second with elbows raised. Stage one, Saral Bhujan Asan, easy cobra. Bring the legs together and stretch your arms. Keep the forehead on the ground, place the hands just beside the body, keep palms and elbows on the ground, inhale slowly, lift the head and chest up to navel region without changing the position of the hands, stay here comfortably. This is Saral Bhukjan Asan, the easy cobra. Exhale, rest the forehead and chest on the ground. Stage two, Bhukjan Asan, the cobra posture. Keep your palms beside the chest and raise the elbows. Inhale, slowly lift the head and chest up to the navel region. Keep the elbows parallel and maintain the posture with normal breathing. This is Bhukjan Asan, the cobra. Exhale, rest the forehead and chest on the ground and come back into Makar Asan, the crocodile posture, and relax. The Asan relieves stress, reduces abdominal fat, and relieves constipation. We're now prepared for Shalab Asan, the locust posture. Rest the chin on the floor, keep both the hands beside the body, Palms facing upwards, without bending the knees, inhale, raise the legs off the floor as much as possible, extend the arms and legs to ease the lifting of the body. Exhale, bring the legs down towards the floor and rest for a few seconds in Makra Asan. The benefits of the local, locust posture, it relieves sciatica, and lower back ache. That completes the prone postures, and we now get ready for the supine postures. So extending the right arm, rolling onto your right side, coming onto your back, facing the sky, legs stretched out, palms by your side, palms facing upwards in Shavasana. 
We'll return to Shavasana after each of the supine postures. And finally, we will relax in Shavasana. So we're prepared for Setu Ban Asan, the bridge posture. Bend both the legs at the knees and bring the heels near the buttocks. While holding both the ankles firmly, keep the knees and feet in one straight line. Inhale, slowly raise your buttocks and trunk up as much as you can to form the bridge. Remain in the position with normal breathing. Exhale, slowly return to the original position and relax in Shavasana. The benefits of the bridge posture, it relieves depression, anxiety, and strengthens the lower back muscles. We're now moving to Uttan Pad Asan, the raised feet posture. So lying comfortably on the ground with the legs stretched out together. Hands beside the body, palms resting on the ground. Without bending the legs, inhale slowly, Raise both the legs and bring them to a 30 degree angle with the ground. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Exhale slowly, bring both legs down and place them on the ground. Relax in Shavasana. The benefits of this asan, it helps to improve digestion and lung capacity and balances the navel center. We're now moving to Ad Hal Asan, the half plow posture. So bringing the legs together, stretched out, hands beside the body, palms resting on the ground. Without bending the knees, inhale slowly, raise your legs together and bring them up to 90 degree angle with the ground. The body from the hips to the shoulders should be kept straight. Exhale, slowly bring the legs down to the ground without lifting the head. And relax in Shavasana. The practice of this asan is useful for cases of diabetes and piles. And we're now prepared for Pavan Mukt Asan, the wind releasing posture. Bend both the knees, exhale, bring both the knees towards the chest. Inhale, interlock the fingers and clasp the shin below the knees. Exhale, raise the head till your chin touches the knees and relax. This is Pawan Muktasan. Bring the head to the ground and while exhaling, bring the legs back to the floor and rest in Shavasana. The benefits of this posture, it removes constipation, gives relief from flatulence, decreases the bloating sensation in the abdomen, and aids digestion. Now we will move into practice Shavasana for relaxation. So the palms facing upwards, eyes closed, relax the whole body consciously. Become aware of the natural breath and allow it to become slow, and shallow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. The benefits of Shavasana, it helps to relieve all kinds of tension and gives rest to both the body and mind. Now extend in your right arm above your head, turn to your right side and exhale and exhale slowly. And then inhale and come up into a comfortable seated posture. So coming into Sukhasana, 
with hands in Gyan Mudra. We will prepare for Kapal Bhati Skull Shining Breath. Close your eyes and relax the whole body. Inhale deeply through both nostrils and expand the chest. Expel the breath with forceful contradiction, contractions of the pelvic and abdominal muscle and inhale passively. Complete 30 rapid breaths. Then take a deep breath, exhale slowly and relax completely. Remain still and breathe normally. Kapalabhati purifies the frontal sinuses and helps to overcome cough disorders. But now practice three different pranayam breathing exercises. We'll start with Nadi Shodan, Pranayam. Alternate nostril breathing. Keep the spine and the head straight with the eyes closed. Relax the body with a few deep breaths. Now keep the left palm on the left knee in Gyan Mudra. And the right palm should be in Nasika Mudra. So place the ring and small finger on the left nostril and fold the middle and index fingers and place the right thumb on the right nostril. This is Nasika Mudra. Quietly inhale through the left nostril. Exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right nostril and exhale through the left. This completes one round and we we'll do two more. So inhale through the left nostril, exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. Now release the practice and breathe normally and return the right hand to Gyan Mudra. The benefits of alternate nostril breathing includes tranquility and helps to improve concentration, increases vitality and lowers the levels of stress and anxiety. And we now practice Shitli Pranyam, the cooling breath. Roll the tongue from the side to shape it as a tube. Inhale through this tube-shaped tongue. Fill the lungs with the air to their maximum capacity. Take the tongue inside the mouth and close the mouth. Slowly through, then slowly exhale through both nostrils. This is one round of Sitali Pranyam. We'll do two more rounds. And now return to normal breathing. The benefits of this pranayam, it has a cooling effect on the body and mind. It's beneficial for persons suffering with high blood pressure and it satisfies, satisfies thirst and appeases hunger. 
Now we'll prepare for two types of Brahm Ri Pranayam, the bee breath. Type 1, Indian Mudra. And type 2 will be with Shanmukhi Mudra. So type 1, this is the simple version of Brahm Ri. Sit in a comfortable posture with the eyes closed and placing the hands in Dhyan Mudra. Inhale deeply through the nose and exhale slowly in a controlled manner while making a deep, steady humming sound such as that is a beat of the bee. Type 2 with Shanmukhi Mudra. So close the eyes with the index finger. Place the middle finger on the side of the nose. Don't close the mouth with the ring and small fingers and the ears with respective thumbs. This is called Shanmukhi Mudra. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner while making a deep, steady humming sound, such as that of the bee. Mm. We'll do two more rounds. So inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner, making the sound of a bee. I'm going to do one more round. Inhale deeply through the nose and exhale slowly, making the sound of a bee. The practice of Bamri relieves stress and helps in alleviating anxiety, anger, and hyperactivity. So now release Shanmukhi Mudra and place the hands into Dhyan Mudra. That concludes the Pranayam and we now commence Dhyan or meditation. Keep the spine comfortably erect Shoulders should be loose and relaxed. Close your eyes and sit with a slightly upturned face. You need not concentrate, just maintain a focus between the eyebrows and be conscious of your breath. Dissolve your thoughts and try to attain single and pure thought. Meditate. The benefits of Dhyan. It's the most important component of yoga practice. It helps the practitioner to eliminate negative emotions like fear, anger, depression, anxiety, and develop positive emotions. It helps keep the mind calm and quiet, increases concentration, memory, clarity of thought, and willpower. It rejuvenates the whole body and mind, giving them proper rest. Meditation leads to self-realization. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
May all become happy. May all be free from illness. May all see what is auspicious. May no one suffer. Peace. 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 Slowly open your eyes and bring the hands together in Namaskar Mudra. Namaste. That concludes our yoga protocol practice for today. Thank you so much for your participation and have a wonderful international day of yoga. And we're now moving to the formation. We have done a great job with all of us enthusiastic companies and how I am mean, favored by nature, as I said, harmony with human and nature. So nature has been very kind to us with bright sunshine. Now we are going to have a small performance by students of yoga students of Swami Vivekanand Cultural Center. It is a small performance formation. We are going to start in the, under the guidance of Sangeeta Kumar, yoga teacher at the Swami Vivekanand Kachyam Center. So now the stage is yours, Sangeeta. Thank you. Deep 
चमक जलता है क्या कभी अंबर से सूर्य बिछड़ता है क्या कभी बिन बाती दीपक जलता है कैसी है अनहोनी हर आग हुई रंग छोड़ गया जो तू कैसे जिएंगे हम तू ही किनारा तू ही सहारा तू जग सारा तू ही हमारा सूरज तू ही तारा जय जय
Now I'll invite my colleague, Mr. Ashutosh Jivedi, attache admin, for giving a vote of thanks. Ashutosh ji. Thank you very much, sir. Sometimes you feel so grateful that words are very less to express your feeling. However, I have to say a word of thanks. First of all, I would like to start with God of Rain, who was so kind to us, because we were expecting a bad weather today. But somehow it went smooth because of not raining. So first, uh, after uh, this vote of thank, I would move to His Excellencies, British High Commissioner and Australian High Commissioner for their presence in this event. And uh, thanks to all other distinguished guests, diplomatic members. Now I would like to thank Ministry of Education, Heritage and Arts for their support to gather the school students for this event. And of course, the schools, MGM School, Nasinu, Sangam School, Nakasi High School, and Rishikul School. Thanks to all these schools, staff, teachers, principal, administration, and students for their efforts. They have been getting trained for last uh, one month. So after the regular training, the result is being shown here. Thank you very much. Now, next word of thanks to our PSUs who were involved in each and every part of this event, LICI, Bank of Baroda, Webcos, and New India Insurance. Thanks to all the members and staff of these PSUs. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to thank Punjas Group. They supported us for the refreshment. And we are so much thankful for their support. This made the event really graceful. Thank you very much. Now I come to our India-Fiji Friendship Forum. Thank you very much all the members of India-Fiji Friendship Forum and the volunteers. Since morning and for last few days, they are with us to make the event successful. Thanks a lot. And now thank to all yoga instructors who were providing training to all the schools traveling around. And now they presented very good formation here, which made the event really nice, wonderful. Thank you very much. And thanks to all the yoga enthusiasts who are present here to be a part of the event. Now I would like to thank you the local authorities. First of all, the police who helped us a lot for controlling the traffic because so many buses are involved. And uh, we, are, we are thankful to National Fire Authority also, who are present here to give the security. And also we are thankful to St. John's Association for providing the ambulance. And in the last but very important, and I would like to thank uh, A-Sign Creations and Vinod Patel Group for providing the t-shirts for this beautiful formation. Now I move to one important thing without which this whole idea was not going to work. Our media partner, FBC, Fiji Broadcasting Corporation, who made it live from here and it went directly live to India. And I would like to thank our Doordarshan India who captured it. And thankfully, we were the first in the world to inaugurate the global yoga ring that is called Guardian Ring. And in the last, I thank all our SCI High Commission of India colleagues and the team of Swami Vivekanand Culture Center for all their continuous efforts who made this event successful. Thank you very much. In the last, thanks to each and everybody who somehow involved in this event to make this event successful. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Now I hand over the mic to Mr. Amit Kailawa, and he will take over all the further proceedings. Mr. Amit. This is the end of the program. Now refreshments will be given. And please be seated. We shall direct how to work on that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Drivedi ji.
मन मस्तिष्क सब चेतन करे करे निरोगी काया मन मस्तिष्क सब चेतन करे करे निरोगी काया आध्यात्मिक अनुशासन और सूक्ष्म विज्ञान है जिसमें इतना समाया साथी बहुत स्टूडेंट यहाँ पे बैठे हैं एवरीवन मीट है आध्यात्मिक अनुशासन और सूक्ष्म विज्ञान है योग में ऐसे समाया स्वास्थ्य प्रसन्नता सामंजस्य स्वतंत्रता बने इन सभी का स्वामी वो है योग को जो अपनाया तो आज ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैव अटेंडेड दिस दिस हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट यू हैव बिकम द एम्बेसडर फॉर होल नेशन एंड नॉट फॉर द नेशन फॉर होल वर्ल्ड होल होल यूनिवर्स फॉर गिविंग ए मैसेज दैट यस योगा इज समथिंग इफ यू इफ यू टेक इट इट कैन गेट रिड यू ऑफ all of you from all the worries all the problems in your life so thank you so much for attending this session i hope all of you enjoyed i can't hear wow can we have a huge round of clapping for all the instructors what a wonderful presentation they have given and then for all the organizers why why so so not so loud for organizers can we have one more round of clapping for organizers and not least not not last but most important who had made this event so successful who are those all of you make us feel thank you so much i hope all of you enjoyed now please be seated the way in the discipline all of you came in same way we will go out okay i will request first two rows you can please get the right side of the stage where we have, where our food committee team is waiting for you with the delectable food rest all people please keep seated okay so first two rows rest all keep seated be seated what you have to do please wear your shoes put on your shoes get ready okay all the teachers and volunteers can i have your attention please teachers and volunteers i would like to have your attention please please be with your team to escort them to the bus we will go one by one first nasinu bus is waiting outside on the entry gate first we will escort wait 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 and i will say go and only go please get up with your team also mats and other belongings please leave on the ground mats please leave on the ground if it is your mat you may take it okay guys you have to go in the queue teachers yes you guys are doing wonderful job please wait everyone in the queue for the new school and my friend alex alex our traffic officer on the front gate can you please ensure that there is no taxi or something in front gate so that bus can come in